This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create transparent effects inside of ZBrush? So to start off, I just have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about creating transparent effects. So say something like glass, water, or something that has, you know, non-opaque properties. So as an example, I have Earthquake here, and I've added two subtools to him. So if I scroll down the bottom here, I've added a ring primitive around his neck, and then I've added another sphere primitive that connects to that ring. So let's say Earthquake wants to go to space. So he has his space helmet on here, and now inside his ZBrush, I want this sphere here to render transparent so it looks like glass. So if I just come up to the BPR option up here and just click Render, you can see it's just now appearing as a normal sphere. So it's just taking the gray matte cap sphere here and just applying it. So how can I get this to become translucent or transparent? So to do this, we just need to have the subtool selected that we want to apply this effect to. So come to the subtool palette here and select that dome. And then we just need to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the tool palette here, open up this display properties area. And in here, there is a BPR settings area. And in this BPR settings, there is a toggle that's called BPR Transparent Shading. So if you come over here and activate this, you're going to first get a little dialog that's going to pop up. And it's just telling you that the transparent option was turned off in the render palette. And it wants to know if you want to turn it on. So we're going to click yes to this. And all that did was turn on transparent rendering inside of ZBrush. So if I go to the render palette up here and open up render properties, and here you can see there is this transparent button and this has now been toggled on. So that little warning, all it is doing is it's just toggling on this transparent option here to allow you to render in transparent mode. So after you have the render property activated to render transparent objects, any tool that you have with its BPR setting to have this BPR transparent shading active will now render in transparency. So with this earthquake model here, if I render with BPR again, you're gonna notice that this sphere now is now translucent, so it's now looking like a dome. Now it's a little bit flat, so we may want to add some more reflectivity to this. So to do this, I'm just going to fill the sphere here with a material. So I'm going to navigate over the material palette over here and open this up. I'm going to come and select this reflected map material. And now with that selected, I can now just need to fill the vertices of that subtool with that material. So I'm going to turn on M up here and then go to color and do fill object. So now I've taken that sphere and I've now filled it with this reflected matte cap. So now I have the sphere that is now has this matte cap enabled. I have the subtool of that sphere in its display properties with its BPR setting having BPR transparent shading active. And now if I click BPR, it's now going to render that sphere with this material and then also that BPR transparent shading. So now I'm getting this glass dome effect on Earthquake here. So much more what I'm looking for. Now there are other options you can control how this transparent option is functioning. So if I come back over to the display properties here, I have a BPR visibility and I can change this and this will determine how much of this sphere is visible. So if I set it down to a low amount and now re-render with BPR, you can see it is now very faint. So it's almost looking like a bubble. And then if I change it back up and click BPR, it's now gonna end up looking a little heavier, so more like glass. You also have the option to control shadows. So right now there are no shadows being generated from the subtool. So you can see he has no shadowing around his head or neck there. So I can increase the BPR shadows as well, and now this will create shadows from that object. So you can see now I'm getting shadowing from this dome. So these two sliders here you can change, and that's gonna to correspond to how that transparent option is gonna be displayed inside of ZBrush. Now this transparent option is only going to be displayed when you click BPR, so you're not going to see it in preview mode. So it's always gonna look opaque in preview mode until you click this BPR button, and then it will render any of those subtools that have this BPR transparent shading option turned on as transparent or translucent elements. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.